This is the SP32 Touch Matrix board. It has 25 touchpads that utilize touch detection capabilities of ESP32 module. I have already explained how the touch functionalities of ESP32 works in a previous video. So you can check out that video to learn more about it. Link is in the description. Basically, there are 10 touch sensitive GPIOs in ESP32 that are enabled when someone touches that pin. And it can also register multiple touches at the same time. It requires no extra components to work since everything is already built into the ESP32. Now, in order to get more touchpads out of this, I connected the touch pins in a matrix format. So there are 5 columns and 5 rows makes a total of 25 touchpads. Besides, we have the programming circuit and a battery management circuit in this board, which can charge a small lithium ion battery so that we can make it portable. The USB Type-C connector can be used to program the board as well as charge the battery. Also there is a RGB LED, a programmable button, and an on-off switch, which doesn't interrupt the charging process. The excess pins, including serial 1 port, the I2C port have been broken out, to connect extra peripherals, if needed. Let's start with designing the circuit. So I have taken guidelines from Espressive Systems to design the touchpads. After designing the PCB, I sent this to PCBWay, for manufacturing, who are also sponsoring this project. I chose black sole mask, with the NIG finish. And placed the order. I received the PCBs at my doorstep within a few days. I must say, the PCB looks pretty amazing. After soldering all the components, this is how the PCB looks. So, let's test it out. First I uploaded a sketch, to read the touch responses. And all the touchpads responded. So we can proceed to the next part. There are several applications, where you can use this touch matrix board. For example, since ESP32 supports BLE, you can use the BLE keyboard library, to make a portable, wireless macro keyboard. I have also designed a case, in Fusion 360, to hold the battery, and the PCB. And printed it with my Ender 3. After joining these two with screws, our project is complete. This is the code for the project. All the touch detection functionalities, is done inside this header file. When any touch event occurs, it calls the touch detected function, with the respective row and column number. So using this, you can send any keystroke or key combination. Or even send, an entire text, to the host device. You can check out the keymap header file, to see all supported keystrokes. This makes it super easy, to work with different programs, that use shortcut keys. It works with both Android phones, and Windows PCs. To use it as a BLEHID device, first go to the Bluetooth settings, of the respective device. Then search for a new Bluetooth device. The name of this device, which you can also customize, will appear on the screen. Pair with the device, and you are ready to go.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.